Hello, welcome. I'm Courtney, and we are going to be doing a Hatha Yoga flow today. So please start standing at the top of your mat in Tadasana. Feet can be apart or feet can be together. Tall stance, roll your shoulders back and down a few times. Close your eyes, connect with your body. Deepen your breathing. And just start to bring your attention into present moment awareness. What you're experiencing right here, right now. The feeling breath move in and out of your nostrils. The next time that you inhale, circle your arms out and up over your head. Exhale, bend your elbows to the side. Lean back just a little bit here. We're not warm. Inhale, take your arms back up. And as you exhale, bend your knees a bit, fold over your legs, clasp your hands on your elbows and sway your torso side to side. Let your head be as heavy as possible. Then bring your hands to your shin bones. Inhale, lift halfway. As you exhale, step your right foot back, set your knee down. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands down, step back for downward facing dog. Adjust here for a moment, pedal out your feet, shift your hips side to side. The next breath in, lift your right leg up and back. Exhale, bring your foot through, left knee down. Inhale for lunge, take your arms up. Exhale, hands down, step your back foot forward, inhale, half lift, exhale, release and fold. Inhale, come up to stand. As you exhale, bend your elbows out to either side, prana mudra. Breathe and reach back up. And as you exhale, forward fold. We're just gently warming the body here. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bring your left foot back, set your knee down. Inhale, arms up, reach through your fingertips. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, down dog. Now this time, as you breathe in, shift forward, plank pose. Exhale, push back, down dog. Again, inhale, forward plank, firm your abdomen. Exhale to down dog. Just moving and breathing. Inhale, shift forward. As you exhale, lower all the way down to the ground. Inhale, low cobra, warming up the spine. As you exhale, curl your toes, push back, downward facing dog. Adjust. Push down through your hands. Inhale, raise your left leg. Exhale, bring your foot through, right knee down. Breathe and reach your arms up. Exhale, plant your hands. Step that back foot forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Big breath in. Come all the way up. Exhale, bend your elbows, shoulder blades into chest. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, we bring the right foot back. Inhale for lunge, arms up. Exhale, downward facing dog. As you breathe in, shift forward plank. Knees up or down, exhale, bend your elbows, try to hover off the floor, inhale, up dog, or stay low with cobra, exhale, push back, down dog, breathe in, raise your right leg, breathe out, step it through, left knee down, inhale, arms up, exhale, bring your left foot forward, 
Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bend elbows. Open your heart. Breathe in, reach up. Breathe out and again, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, left foot back, knee down. We're warming up the hip flexors. Inhale, reach to sky. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, down dog. Inhale, shift forward, plank pose. Knees up or down. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Push your hips back. Now breathe in, raise your left leg. Breathe out, step your foot through, right knee down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, plant your hands, bring your right foot forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bow. Inhale, come up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center, Anjali Mudra. Take a breath, again, reconnect inward. On your next inhalation, bend your knees, sit back into chair pose, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, lift halfway. As you exhale, you can step or you can jump back, plank to chaturanga. Inhale through your back bend. Exhale, down dog. We'll keep moving here. Inhale, raise your right leg. Exhale, bring your foot through. Turn your left heel down. Inhale, come up to warrior one, facing forward. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, plank, lower chaturanga. You can always skip this. Inhale through your back bend. Exhale, down dog. Breathe and raise your left leg. Breathe out, step it through, right heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, plant your hands, step back for another chaturanga. Inhale through your back bend and exhale down dog. Gotta love all those chaturangas, right? <laughs> so always, always make sure you're checking in with your body. You can do everything that I do today. You can do half of it. You can do a quarter. Make sure you're honoring the body that you're practicing with right now. Present moment awareness. Take another deep breath. Inhale, lift your hips. Exhale all the breath out. Walk or you can jump forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair utkatasana. Exhale, push to stand, lower your hands. So this is Surya Namaskara B. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump back, plank to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, chest forward. Exhale, down dog. Breathe in, raise your right leg. Exhale, bring that foot through, left heel down, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, plant your hands, step back for another chaturanga. Inhale through your back bend. Exhale, down dog, raise your left leg, breathe in. Step through as you breathe out, right heel down, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, step back, plank to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana, hold and breathe. If you ever need extra rest, child's pose is there. Let's take a moment. 
Notice if your mind is distracted, bring it back here, back to where you are right now in your body. Connect with your breath. Breathe in, lift hips. Breathe out, walk or jump forward. Inhale, tall spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, Samastiti, return center. Inhale, come low to chair pose. And this time, hold a few extra breaths. Option to bend your elbows out to the side, especially if your shoulders feel tight, or you can keep your arms next to your ears. Pull your belly in, reach your tailbone down. One more in breath, sit a little deeper if you can. And exhale, fold over your legs. As you inhale, lift halfway, exhale, step or jump back, plank to Chaturanga Dandasana, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog, lift your right leg, breathe in, exhale, bring your knee to your chest. Now, as you inhale, take the knee to your right shoulder, exhale, over to your left shoulder, Inhale back to center and exhale, step through. We have to get a little fancy here, right? Left heel down, come up into warrior one and hold. So that right knee is over the ankle. Drive your right heel down into the floor. Spiral your left inner thigh back and push your left hip forward toward the front edge of your mat. So essentially you're squaring your hips more or less. Now interlace your fingers at your low back, breathe in, lift chest, breathe out, humble warrior, fold inside of the right thigh. What tends to happen here is that right hip wants to push out. Instead, draw your right hip back and in and keep pushing into the outer edge of your left heel. Next breath in, come up halfway, lift your left heel, hold here, exhale. Breathe in, step onto your right foot as you lift your left. Virabhadrasana three variation. We still have the fingers interlaced if possible. Hold and breathe. Try to make your body as still as possible. Then gently step back. Bring your hands down to frame your right foot and find your way into downward facing dog. Good work. Notice what you feel. We've done the right side of the body. Maybe it feels different than the left side. And next breath in, raise your left leg. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, take it to your left shoulder. Exhale over to that right shoulder. Inhale to center and exhale, bring your foot through. Right heel down. Virabhadrasana one, again, we hold here. If you ever feel like you're on a tightrope, you can always walk your front foot out to the side a little bit. Draw your left hip back and push your right hip more forward. Then from here, we'll reach the hands to the low back. Interlace your fingers, breathe in, expand chest. Breathe out, fold inside of your left thigh. Make sure your left knee is still pointing forward and you're looking back toward your right foot. Back of the neck is long. Squeezing your shoulder blades toward one another. Now try to keep that interlace as much as possible. Inhale, lift halfway, lift your back heel, hold here, exhale. Next breath in, step onto your left foot as you lift your right, Virabhadrasana three. Stay long through your spine and torso. Bottom leg can be straight, but just make sure you're not locking out the knee. One more breath. Gently step back, release your hands down to frame your left foot, find your way into downward facing dog. Fingers spread wide, actively push down through your hands. 
rotate your head if that feels good then come down to your knees so we're taking child's pose but before you come all the way down reach your right arm across your chest lower your right shoulder and the side of your head to the ground getting into the back of the shoulder we did a lot of front shoulder stretching a lot of chest stretching so we're getting into the rhomboids and the mid trapezius here those are basically just your mid to upper back muscles take another breath then unwind from that side and change so we lift up slide the left arm across chest kind of roll onto that left shoulder spiral your right shoulder back and breathe into the sensation And slowly make your way out to reach both hands forward come up to tabletop bring your legs out in front of you scoot to about the middle of your mat and lower yourself down onto your back adjust your hair adjust your clothing then take your right leg cross it over your left as you exhale drop your legs to your left side so coming into reclining twist now for some of us this feels too deep you're welcome to uncross the legs and just stack the knees instead breathe into your belly helping to shift into parasympathetic nervous system relaxation response and come out of that side when you're ready uncross and take left thigh on top of right breathe in breathe out drop your knees to the right side breathe into your abdomen and let your left shoulder be heavy The next breath in, come out of the twist, uncross your legs, hug your knees into your chest, up and asana. Rock yourself side to side, a little massage for your lower back. It might feel good here to separate the knees a few inches, circle out your legs both directions. Maybe let the knees fall wide apart, release the inner thigh muscles. And when you are ready, extend your legs long, let your eyes close, just relax your facial muscles. And consider the quote by Eckhart Tolle. It is through gratitude for the present moment that the spiritual dimension of life opens up. start to move your body gently take a deeper breath in reach your arms overhead put your toes forward bring your knees into your chest rock or roll to one side and come up to a comfortable seat 
And once again, let your eyes close. Bring your hands to your heart center. Bow your head. Take hands to your forehead, reminding us to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to the heart, reminding us to have clear and loving intentions. Hands to the mouth, reminding us to have clear and loving communications, sending this positive energy to all beings everywhere. Namaste. I've created a 90-day program, and if you'd like to try the first three days for free, please click on the description of the video or the pinned comment. And if you'd like to stay on YouTube, I think you might like this video.